Help the child to hear, to see and feel, to wonder, admire and revere, to believe, hope and love. As I mature and as I you know, grow older, I realize more and more what people need things more than I do. And I think Hawking just educates us on all aspects and things outside of school and helping us introduce us to the outside world. I don't think a day goes by in my life where I don't think about what Hawking has done for me, what's going on at Hawking. Because of the time I spent here, and the relationships I made here. I have the best network of friends and teachers that I still keep in touch with that have made me who I am today. The main purpose for which this school exists is the development of character. We get to go out in the community and not just learn about academics, learn about helping people, learning about bettering ourselves. When I come to Hawken every day, I feel welcome and I feel ready to learn. Like, I feel like I'm going to learn a lot and that's kind of an exciting thing. I think what they leave here with is a sense of personal responsibility for what they're doing in their life and how they walk that walk. No matter where they go to the next step, they're taking that attitude with them. I'm a diver, I play field hockey, I've been on the technical crew, I've been on stage as an actor, I take part in community service, I'm a peer tutor. These kids are able more than I can imagine me doing ever. Keeping the balls up in the air, so many balls up in the air, and doing it with, with grace and warmth. You are surrounded by students and teachers who all have their own individual passions that their energy and their drive to be who they really want to be is just so infectious. James A. Hawkins knew a century ago that in order for children to thrive, they had to experience and get out of their comfort zone. And they had to try new things and venture out and make mistakes in order to be successful. And I think with all of the programs that we do now, we're doing that for the children, whether they're in kindergarten or seniors in high school. Hawkins doesn't just give us the potential, it gives us the know-how and it gives us it gives us fuel in our bodies in order to really get to that point where we don't just have potential, but we reach our potential. Maxima debetur puero reverentia. Do you look with reverence upon the fine young spirits you are teaching? These teachers were our friends, but we, they were more than friends. They were almost like fathers uh, to us. I mean that very sincerely. I look forward to year after year meeting new students to engage in that process of learning with them. I learn things from my kindergartners all the time. We really do truly love every one of them. They bring color to our day and flavor to our day and we know each of them are on a journey and we're trying our best to help them along on that journey. They're different in their own way. Uh, each one is strict in their own way. Each one is very nice in their own way. I just love my teachers. I was able to um, challenge myself beyond the limits that I thought I could ever reach. I worked with a Hawken alum, a Hawken teacher, and we were writing computer programs to develop mathematical models of bacterial evolution. And that's, you know, not something that everybody in every high school gets to do. Through the STEM program and through biology and chemistry classes with my teachers, I felt like I could really ground myself in that passion that I had. Students are the center of their own learning. Students know why they want to do what they want to do and they're engaged in the process of, of getting it done. I don't know if I could get into this school if, if I uh, had to come back. Fair play means to make sure that everybody is able to contribute. Like when you're playing a game you don't get all like competitive, you like keep it smooth. You have to be nice and you can't like cheat or anything or be mean. It was very short and very meaningful because it embraced all aspects of human relations. Hawkins School has very high ideals, striving to stand before the community as the interpreter of the best in education. 
going all the way back to James Hawkins, who wanted to do it differently, who wanted to educate differently, who talked about character before he talked about intellect. I think one of the differences about Hawkins is that we bring our mission to life every day and we have the courage to tweak it and to say, maybe we can do better. Hawkins is already on the national stage. Uh, we have hosted dozens of educators from around the country, inviting them onto our campus to see what we are doing, see our innovative schedule, see our entrepreneurship program, uh, see our use of one-to-one -one laptop computing. And we have, we feel, the obligation to be a thought leader in education today. We face the future with all the promise the past assures us. Hawking is like a child. It's in a constant stage of development. And if, as long as it has uh, the goals that are sterling, it doesn't have to worry about with the future. I think James A. Hawkins valued the same things that we value today as students and teachers and learners. Uh, empathy, character, intellect. I think you would be very pleased to uh, see the direction that Hawkins School is going. It's created a culture that's really special and unique. If I were James A. Hawkins 100 years later, I would just say, wow, that place is great, what I always wanted it to be. That the better self shall prevail. And each generation introduce its successor to a higher plane of life. Happy birthday, Hawkins! Congratulations, Hawkins, on 100 years. Happy birthday, Hawkins. School. Happy 100th, Hawkins. Happy